I'm going to run through a little exercise here that involves math and the Dodgers 2024 rotation. The reason for this is because I continue to have concerns about this bunch as the World Series favorites. In a 1-6-2 game season, there are roughly 1,450 innings at the high end. That need to be filled by a pitching staff. 162 multiplied by 9 is 1,458. But a team won't need the ninth inning at home while in the lead. And some of those innings saved by wins will be mitigated by extra innings. We know that a team would much rather have more than half of those innings, at minimum, come from the starters instead of the bullpen. Let's say at least 5 of the 9 innings per game 55, 5, which comes out to a touch over 800 out of 1,450. Sure enough, 22 of the 30 teams last season got at least 800 innings from starting pitchers, with two Mariners and Astros hitting 900. The playoff teams rank 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th the World Series champion Rangers, 12th, 15th, 20th, 22nd, and 26th the Rays, naturally in starting pitching innings. So it seems like there's at least some correlation between starter workload and winning. Still, the Dodgers got 801 and two-thirds innings, ranking 22nd, and won 100 games. As such, let's just operate with the assumption that they should be shooting for 800 starter innings. Again, while other, more normal, teams should look for 850-ish. Yoshinobu Yamamoto worked 171 innings last season, following two 190 plus seasons, though he's never gotten to 200. There will be a stateside adjustment for his rookie MLB season, but he can probably get up into a similar range, Kode Senga last season, for example. Went 166 and a third innings, and his career high in Japan was 180 and a third. Let's give Yamamoto 180 innings pitched. Tyler Glasnow totaled 120 innings last season. It was his first full year back from Tommy John surgery, but it also marked his career high. He's only gone over 100 innings twice in his eight seasons. I'm fine with believing he'll set another career high, but it's pushing it to even predict 150. Let's say he gets to 140. Bobby Miller threw 138 and two-thirds innings between the minors and majors last season. It's reasonable to believe he'll top 1-5-0, but I'm not sure how much further the Dodgers would want to go with the promising 25-year-old, he turns 25 April 5th. Let's just stick with 150. Walker Bueller is coming off Tommy John surgery and was unable to return late last season. He's also had his start to 2024 delayed and will start the season on the injured list. It doesn't sound promising for a huge workload. Even once he's back in the rotation, they surely won't take him deeper than five innings for a bit. I think it's too aggressive to count on more than 100 innings. So that's where I'll settle.